Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a tutorial type of video, so I'm going to take you through and show you exactly how I decorate these cookies and cake pops. I start off by rolling my dough and cutting out my cookie shapes. So I am making a full batch for this, so that makes about 40-ish cookies. And I have my two pans on the side here, so once I cut them out, I'll go ahead and put them in the pan. And they bake for about seven minutes, um, not a long time, which is really nice with butter cookies. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake these and I will show you what they should look like once they are baked. As I flip this cookie over right here, it should have a golden brown bottom, which means that it was baked perfectly. And I just love this butter cookie recipe because once you cut out the shape and it bakes, the shape stays exactly how it was when you first cut it out. It doesn't take long to bake and you just have that really pretty golden brown look on the bottom. This is a 50th birthday party, so I go ahead and usually for birthday parties, um, I always put the age on the cookie, especially because usually when people order specialty cookies for a birthday, it's a specific um, special number. So 50 is the special number. And then the white TH pipe will be painted in gold later. And then I always do happy B-Day because writing birthday or fitting birthday on a cookie is sometimes a hair puller. So this is just a little bit easier and another fun way to write on the cookie. I find that outlining cookies with the special color that is being used just helps the cookie pop and be more colorful and just match with the rest of the cookies. I try to have the same colors on every single cookie so that way they just match very nicely. This cookie definitely takes some patience with the handwriting. Um, and then the white 50 will be painted in gold, just like the other white piping that I did on the other cookie. So now I have all of my cookies iced in their base form, so 
they can just sit and harden while I do dishes or walk away or take a break before I come back and paint gold and then I also need to make black to make the strings for those balloons. So one of those little white balls will be painted gold to represent a gold balloon. They had a really pretty turquoise gold and white balloon set at the party so I wanted to make sure to incorporate that in the cookies as well. And here is my favorite part of doing these orders is finishing up with the gold painting. I just think it looks so nice and professional and pretty and I just have a lot of fun with finishing up with that last step of gold. After painting gold, the cookies are complete. So this was the picture that I got of them. And now we start on the cake pops. I wish I was rolling them this fast. Um, unfortunately, the video is sped up, I think eight times. Um, it takes a while to roll out these suckers. So once you have them rolled out, the process is very simple and easy from there. But now I just go ahead and get all my sticks in and prepare them to be dipped. Now I dip them with this tall glass cup that I usually always use to melt chocolate in just because it's easy to stick a cake pop down in there and it just works the best for me so this is how I dip all of the cake pops to make them all look the same and I love this chocolate that I use it's actually just this Kroger chocolate that I buy that comes in trays specifically for baking and dipping things so I find that it works really well because it's very thin. Now for the satisfying part is the drizzling and I just love this finishing touch on the cake pops because it's so simple and it just gives it a nice pop of color. Obviously there's a huge difference between the ones with the drizzle and the ones that are just white. Um, even if you take white drizzle and drizzle white on top of white, I think that even looks good. I just like having a little extra something on there Everybody loves a dessert that has a little bit of drizzle on it. So this is my favorite part of Cake Pops.
now it is picture time. So you probably recognize those cookies that I was taking photos of from last video because these two orders were from the same weekend. So I went ahead and grouped them together. So these are the finished products. Thank you so much for watching.